to In Business. It's the first day of the Farnborough Air Show in the United Kingdom. Airlines and leasing companies have announced some big orders from Airbus and Boeing. Rashad Salamat joins us from the air show with a special <clears throat> guest. Rashad? Thanks a lot for that. Yeah, what we do have is, as usual, this annual transatlantic dogfight taking place in the commercial space between Airbus and Boeing. And I'm pleased to say I've got Airbus's chief executive, Tom Enders. Tom, thanks a lot for coming along. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about, you got orders, 131 orders so far this year, and you're hopeful to double them at this air show. You're still confident of that? Absolutely. Yeah, even more so after we received already 122 orders uh, on the first day. Yeah, we're talking about the single aisle, though. I mean, they've got the plane behind you. This is your... Uh, this is the, the, your love child, the A380. Yes. Now, we haven't had any orders for this since uh, Emirates came out recently with that massive one as well. You know, what do you, what, what's the problem selling it? Well, we're not surprised that through the crisis in the last two years that uh, customers have uh, waited before they commit. The other thing is they wanted to see whether it really um, holds, their, holds the promises, the commitments in operational service. We have now five airlines that are operating 33 planes worldwide and they're all full of praise about the aircraft and what is as important, the passengers as well. Load factors are up, costs are down, so this is a great business proposition for airlines. But you've got to get these orders in. So the hope is that you get them in other places other than, I think, Singapore Airlines, Australia, with the Qantas, and Europe as well. What about China? You've got five orders there, but Japan, it's a market for wide-body jets and there's not much of a result there. Is it just because it's so much Boeing legacy? I'm afraid this is a very difficult market uh, to access, but I'm, I'm very confident that one day we'll also have a success in, in Japan. Uh, you mentioned China. The five orders are certainly only, only the beginning. Look, I mean, we went through some very difficult years. Most importantly, the customers stayed with us. They were loyal, they didn't cancel, even though they could have canceled. And, and, and now we are slowly seeing additional uh, orders. And uh, I'm quite sure that this aircraft will sell very well. And don't worry, I mean, we have still something like 200 aircraft uh, to deliver. And uh, even if we increase the production rate as we're doing right now, we have some years to go until we're running out of orders. Yeah, you're ramping up there. You're ramping up single aisle. Bulk of your 120 odd orders today are for the single aisle A320 a a family of planes. People are talking about, you know, this can't go on forever and this cozy duopoly has to come to an end. What's your view? I agree. I agree. I think in the in the single aisle or short range market, uh, we will see competitors coming up uh, from Canada, from uh, South America, from Russia, China. They all have projects, but it'll take take a while. And you know the the vast success of the 320 family, as you can uh, witness it here in in Farnborough, just demonstrates that we still, after more than 20 years of introducing the product, we have a very competitive family here, the 320 family, which is really our bread and butter business. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Tom Enders there, Chief Executive Pleasure. of uh, Airbus, just talking to us about the industry, talking about the mood here in Farnborough, and also in particular about selling this A380 aircraft. Margaret.